T-splines is a combination of NURBS and subdivision modelling that was originally developed by Matt Sederberg's team back in 2003. It was originally seen inside Rhino, and then it was brought to SolidWorks, and then it was brought out by Autodesk, who used it in their Fusion 360 product. Now, this is the first time we've seen T-splines implemented inside Inventor. I think it's been done very well, and I think you'll enjoy using it. So a NURB surface is a surface that's created from a network of NURB splines. And those of you who've done surfacing, you'll know that actually that can be quite tricky. It's a very disciplined technique. It's probably the most difficult thing to do inside Inventor. And T-splines makes this very simple. Let's begin by just showing you how that works. So I'm going to create a new box. I'll select a work plane and I'll select a point for it to begin on. And I'm just going to subdivide this into a few extra faces. And I'll choose OK. This is a very quick, very simple way of creating a completely watertight set of faces that we can continue to manipulate using direct modeling techniques. So this is our NURB surface. The subdivision part of it comes in in the fact that we can subdivide any of these faces into a smaller set of surfaces, but it allows us to add more detail, allows us to add more control points, more control splines, allowing us to refine this shape. Now what makes this really clever is the inclusion of these T points. So we have a spline headed here into this other spline. Now usually in NURBS modeling, this wouldn't be allowed. It wouldn't be encouraged, but using T splines, we can get away with this sort of thing and it works really nicely. I'm gonna show you an example that I'm just gonna step back through this. I'm gonna select this main face and choose edit form. I'm gonna grab the manipulator here. I'm gonna hold down the alt key to extrude some new faces. And I'll choose done to finish that. Now, nerves based surfaces are made with four sided patches, and you can see straight away that although these patches are four sided, the geometry kratom is not. Right here, we have three splines joining each other. This makes a T spline. And down the other end, we have five splines join each other, which we call a star point. Now, Inventor's freeform T splines tool handles these really well. It's really smooth, um, it's nice to work with, it's very intuitive, and creating these organic shapes is really easy. Now this won't replace everything you do with surface modeling. The reason being that this is not parametric and it's not precise. It can be precise, but it's a little bit more difficult to get precise shapes this way. So for industrial design, for ergonomic shapes, for organic shapes, this is a really quick and simple way of achieving something. But for those sort of very precise mechanical mathematical shapes, such as propellers or complex screws, maybe this isn't what you need. We want to turn this into a solid. It's as simple as pressing finish freeform, we're back into a solid environment and we have something we can use in our solid workflow. 